everyone. The news has been a bit quiet this week in the world of politics, although former cricketer Imran Khan won an election and will be in charge of Pakistan, if such a thing were even possible. Talk about herding cats. But this is the age of celebrity, after all, where sportsmen become politicians, TV reality host Donald Trump became president of the United States, and the UK got lumbered with a prime minister who frankly wouldn't look out of place on Countdown's Dictionary Corner, managing to somehow still misspell things and insist that her answer to the eight-letter conundrum was the word Brexit with six letters. Anyway, let's talk about a few fires going on around the world. Alas, none of them are the much-talked-about, never-delivered, quote, bonfire of the Quangos. Thanks for that, David Cameron. First to Japan, Uh, 106 degrees Fahrenheit this week, which is just over 41 degrees Celsius for those still obsessed about remaining in the customs union. Apparently 40 people have died in the sweltering temperatures, and I'm going to be honest, I don't see how that's a record. I'm sure that August 6th, 1945 was a lot hotter, and there are certainly a lot more casualties. Um, Next to Greece, though, where a wildfire killed over 80 people. Authorities still unsure as to the cause of the blaze, with many German bankers suspecting it was an insurance job to get the money for the Greek debt. Greek fire was, of course, first mentioned by Thucydides, and Boris Johnson has got his old job back at the Telegraph, so if you're after arcane classical Greece references to Westminster, then head over that way, because I frankly can't be bothered researching it right now. Um, California, they've also got some out-of-control fire no doubt caused by a dropped cigarette butt. And I'm not pointing fingers, but they've got Smokey Bear over there. You know, he's called Smokey. He lives in the woods. Hint, hint. Um, Also very hot, though, is the US economy. More than 10 years since the last recession, 4% growth. And just make sure if you've got your money hidden away, then be careful, because cash is very flammable. Gold melts easily, and computers don't do well on a fire if you're the Bitcoin sort of a person. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.